Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, the H-G-I-C, here at Divine Goddess Soaps. Today I am making uh, bath bombs using this Kata mold. This is the watering can from Kata. It is a 3D printed mold and it's one of their three piece molds. They do have some hybrid molds now, I think. Actually they might do all of their styles now in the hybrid molds if you prefer. These are, if you're unfamiliar, uh, these are what we call embeds. Essentially what they are is little color cubes that you put inside of the bath bomb and that what, that's what creates the fun bath art. The peach one that you see there on the left is a mix of yellow six dye as well as red 28 dye. And then the teal one is yellow five dye with blue one dye and the purple is blue one dye with red 28 dye. I will have a video coming up on how to make those uh, with an embed maker. The embed maker that I use is actually from Soapfistication. It's a real simple, easy embed maker. And here I'm just unmolding the bath bomb. Now when you're removing sleeves for these 3D printed molds, you don't want to rock them too much. That can create an uneven edge along your bath bomb. It won't affect how it performs in the water, it's just a cosmetic situation. And I've got my trusty whacking spoon there. And then here's what it looks like. Now the little card that you see me unmolding on there is just a cardboard coaster that I shrink wrapped. I have quite a few of those. They make it real easy to unmold things on. And then I have my tray there that I unmold everything else on. And this is at two times the speed. I don't actually make bath bombs this fast. I wish I did. That would be nice. <laughs> but no, this is at two times the speed. And I'm just gonna finish making the rest of these and I will let them dry for a couple days. In my climate, I live in a very dry climate. I'm in Colorado. I can get away with painting them after a couple hours, uh, but we've had rain for a couple days, so the humidity is higher than normal, so I'll let them dry for a couple days, and then I will come back and paint them. All right, so it's been a couple days and I am going to paint these uh, watering can bath bombs. The color that I'm using here is neutral gray from Nurture Soap. And I have prepped my bath bomb with a mist of 91% rubbing alcohol. In my opinion, it just helps it paint better. It's like when you're painting a wall, you prime the wall first. In most cases, <laughs> if it's a freshly painted wall, then you definitely want to want to prime the wall first. So the rubbing alcohol is just like the primer on the bath bomb. And as far as paint brushes go, I do prefer the round tip brushes. I don't have a specific brand that I prefer. Typically when I'm out and about uh, at a store that has some sort of art section, I'll go and see if they have any on clearance or any that are like on sale. I don't spend a whole lot of money on these brushes because they are constantly being essentially soaked in rubbing alcohol. 
it will dry out the bristles bristles so you don't want to spend a lot of money because they don't last very long but I do prefer the round brushes now when you're painting a bath bomb you want to make sure that your brush is soaked um, fairly well but not overly saturated so you'll see I give everything a mix and then I kind of wipe off the excess along the rim of my cup uh, that way it's it's saturated enough to where it's not pooling on the bath bomb remember that you're painting something that's incredibly porous with essentially a liquid so you don't want to have it overly saturated the best tip I can give as far as un you know, knowing how much is too saturated, how much is saturated enough, is to just practice. You know, everyone's going to be different. It may be different in a wetter climate than it is a drier climate like I live in. Just practice and, and you'll get there. Thank you everyone for watching and remember to take time to pamper your inner goddess. Self-care is important for every her, him, and they. If you haven't, pamper that like button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.